Hey everyone, this is Josh from JL Affiliates, and in this video, I'm going to quickly go over what authority is for a website, um, specifically PageRank. Um, you know, back when I started about eight years ago in the internet marketing industry, you heard PageRank all the time. It was it was just huge. Everyone was always talking about PageRank. It was all about getting the highest PageRank for your websites as possible. Um, now it's not talked about quite as much, but it's still talked about quite a bit. So, uh, and there are a few things you need to know about PageRank. So I just wanted to quickly go over them. So first off, um, there are two different types of page rank. Um, I mean, there's technically there's only one page rank, um, but there's kind of two different types. So let me explain. So first off, page rank is Google's uh, I don't know parameter, their their thing that um, it's on a scale from zero to ten that basically says this page. Um, you know, if it has a, a two, it's fairly low. If it has a ten, it's extremely high. Um, as far as authority goes, so if there's a, a page that has a page rank 10, mostly a real true page rank 10, it's going to rank extremely high in the in the search engine in, in Google um, for the keywords that it associates with it. Okay, so but the actual true page rank you and I don't see. None of us sees that. Only people, only a few people at Google know what the true page rank is for any page. The page rank that we see is called the toolbar page rank, and that's the page rank that they voluntarily show to anyone who wants to install their toolbar or anyone who uses a tool. There's all kinds of tools out there um, that pull from uh, Google the you know the different page ranks of each page. And page rank is based on a page by page basis, not a website basis. So you could have an internal page of your website that rank outranks your home page for a specific keyword. For example, it's all based on the page, and a lot of it is determined by your back link still even today um, even with all the big updates and everything else still a lot of it is determined by the backlinks pointing to your pages so if you have a bunch of high quality backlinks pointing to an internal page it's going to rank really good um, and let's say you have more to this one specific page and you don't have a whole lot to your home page that specific page is going to outrank your home page for example so uh, that's the first thing understand that it is a page by page thing and second understand that page rank uh, the, the page rank that we see isn't the true page rank the true page rank only Google can, can see and they don't show that because the, you know the, the toolbar page rank is kind of an outdated version of the true page rank and it can fluctuate so you could have a you know a page rank six page that doesn't rank anywhere and has very little authority because it's an outdated um, measure of the true page rank and I personally don't even think it, it was ever a uh, 100 percent accurate reflection of the true page rank because they have very complex algorithms in the back end of Google to determine rankings and you know a one one to ten indicator just isn't you know the, I just don't believe that that's ever been really an indicator I think it's a rough indicator though so you know in general a highly authoritative website is going to have a high page rank and in general a weak you know new small website is going to have a low page rank um, but then there's authority, and the authority of a website kind of goes beyond everything and looks at social signals and, you know, neighborhoods, you know, the neighborhoods your website belongs to, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that's kind of separate from page rank. So page rank is kind of an outdated parameter of the authority of, a, of, a, of any particular page on the Internet as Google sees it. And it's just, I mean, it's still it still can be useful, for instance, in uh competition analysis if you're doing your keyword research looking for a a good keyword that gets you know a good amount of monthly searches but doesn't have a whole lot of competition you can take like what I've done for years and it still is still pretty accurate you can look at the top 10 competitors for that keyword that that you know when you type that keyword into Google the top 10 pages that come up um, you can find the page rank for each one of the pages that rank add them up and divide by 10 that gives you the average page rank for the top 10 competitors and if that page rank is you know like 2.5 or above it might be a little difficult to rank a small little niche site for if it's below that it's going to be easy you know the, the, the further down it is the, the closer to zero it is the easier it's going to be to get a small little you know easy page ranked for that phrase so you know there are some benefits to page rank still and you know it's eye candy too it's nice to see your website or your pages you know to have a high page rank but anyway this is just you know I just wanted to quickly go over that um, for those of you you know who are newer or just haven't really figured that out yet so uh, page rank you know there's still some uses as far as uh, competition analysis and just eye candy but really it's not that big of a deal I've seen some extremely um, 
some websites that get a lot of I've had owned websites myself I still do um, that get quite a bit of traffic and have like page rank zero page rank one and then I've had the opposite too I've had pages and websites that have page rank five and six and get very little traffic so um, on a page by page basis page rank uh, just really doesn't you know tell you a whole lot but if you look at a combination and average of the competitors for any particular niche it can be useful so I hope that helps